What up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, Zika Milligan, the villain feeling oh so trilligan. And we are playing Slay the Princess. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know nothing about this game. I saw it on Steam during the holiday sale. I was like, yo, this looks fine, let me get it. Really like the art style. So I went on and copped it, right? So, um, well, shoot, we're gonna get into this. Um, I don't really know what's going on in this game. Y'all see, I'm not really fitted up today. Uh, I started recording, realized I didn't have my fit, and I was like, I'm not getting back up. I'm already boxed in. I'm already locked in. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces have hard to see them through. There are no premature endings. There are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. I, I do like love stories. We finna slay the princess. We finna slay the princess. Finna lay the incense. We finna lay the incense. That's what I. That's what I meant to say. I finna see my bay. I finna go cray. Every other day. I finna go crazy. Go crazy. I'm never acting lazy. Uh. Rockefeller like Jay Z. Uh. And I'm finna get crazy, uh, I'm finna see my baby, uh, we finna go fading, uh, you wanna fade me, uh, you cannot fade me, <laughs> oh my goodness, I suck, let's get into it though, oh, hey, chapter one, the hero and the princess, I see, let's get, okay. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin, okay is a princess. Okay. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Um, okay! The end of the world, what are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world because she's locked up? Killing a princess is kind of bad though, doesn't it? Can't someone else do it? Forget I'm not doing this. Do I get some kind of reward? Okay, thanks for telling me. Sweet, I've always wanted to uh, wanted to offer Monarch. Viva la revolution! Um hmm, haven't you thought like maybe you know kinda yo she might end the world because you want to kill her? While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, Don't talk. let me assure you the princess is locked up because she is dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. I mean, he's the narrator, so I assume he knows everything. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. All right. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg. Okay, bro, you talking too much. You do your job. Huh. Okay. Uh. I guess we'll kill her. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. All right. She will lie. She will cheat and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not gonna go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Yo, I'm the hero. Why does he have a voice actor? Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, yeah, he don't know what he's talking, yeah. I'm about to say, I'm about to say, that ain't me. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The blade is your implement. Oh. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Can't just beat her to death? Uh, I guess I'll take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. I mean, I could just wring her neck. Let's go in the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. Okay. This is an oppressive place. 
The air feels heavy and damp, mm -hmm. a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. Okay, okay. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. That wasn't funny. Her you voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Oh, hold on. She sounds dangerous. I like that voice. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Uh, hey, I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> oh, are you now? <laughs> Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Uh, all right. Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. <laughs> Good luck, hero. Hey, man, look, I, I like to be up front, you know? I don't, I don't like the way, I, don't, I, I like to be up you front. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Mm. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? I've seen better. Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Nah. What? No way. Why would you even think that? Uh. What? No way. Why would that you think that? The giant knife you're holding kind of gives it away, doesn't it? Hmm. I think you're. I think you're overthinking it. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? We should drop it. Don't you dare. I'm about to say, are you stupid? <laughs> it's fine. I'm not dropping we can a knife. what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. It's becoming of me. Uh, let's drop it, let's drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. We're gonna have a little conversation, then I'm gonna kill you afterwards. You feel me? Against Don't get close. Oh, she got big eyes. You step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. Yes, against my better judgment. I would not get this close to her. She's ugly anyway. We'll be fine. No, we're not. Look at those giant eyes. She's an alien. She's about to abduct us and castrate us. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. Okay. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. A relationship? Are you coming on me? <laughs> uh. Okay, we've talked enough. <laughs> okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? <laughs> you know why you're here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, getting you out of here. Gonna keep you locked up. Uh, nah, I'm gonna kill you. Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. I'm finna run through her, all right. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Why y'all let her hands loose? Holy shit, that hurt! Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Why is one of her arms unchained? Are y'all stupid? Did y'all want her to just do this? Your blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. Dang! We can still turn this around. Uh, flee a locker, man, we killing her! You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here either. Ugh, why is his nails like that? Are you a gremlin? Excuse me? Do you think this is what <laughs> I wanted to happen? Excuse me? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. And I got their reverse curse technique. Keep playing with me. Oh, two dang. Of clash yeah, got it in its chest. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. 
the two of you fall to the floor. Bye-bye. This was fun. The princess gasps, her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder, do you really think this is the end? Oh, Lord. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Oh. Well, thank you for that, you know? Thank you for that. I appreciate that. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Wait, what? Hey, hold on! Bro, I could have swore I, I killed her! I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. Hey, look, what you're not gonna do is gaslight me. If doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. I can stab you. That's fine. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. Who is that? That's the spirit. There's no point in squabbling when the real threat is just up that hill. Okay, let's assume I'm telling the truth. Then all this really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Get, yeah, talk, talk. You died last time, which probably only- Ah, uh, shut up. Ah, uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't really oh, trying to listen. Warning. Before you go any further. Okay. She will lie. Yeah, she'll lie. Are you lie. sure about that? Oh, okay. This is actually going to be new dialogue. So let me stop skipping through stuff. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm trigger right now. The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. I apologize for skipping all this dialogue. I, I really thought, like, I didn't know it was actually going to be new. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? Mm. Crystal. Let's just get on with it already. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, I don't know, man. You know, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know. The cabin is tighter than its exterior would suggest. What? Its cold stone walls press in on you. This is different. As if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. There's also a mirror. See? Even the cabin has the right idea. Let's get moving. Shut up. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Yeah, same That's thing about because the there isn't a mirror. There's the altar, the blade sitting on the altar, and the door to the basement. Yeah, There's no. nothing else in here. There is a mirror right there. There's definitely a mirror. I'm saying. There isn't. Cat! You already wasted so much time in the woods. Who even cares if there's a mirror? Who are you? I care. I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I, I am. about that and more about whether we're being lied to. If he's willing to lie about something as innocuous as a mirror, what else is he hiding? That's what I care about. I, I want to see what my character you. looks like. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? Look at the mirror, bro. You walk Look. up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much. It's, to it's see a here. freaking mirror, man. This really isn't funny. You reach forward and oh, your hand okay, so, against the cabin wall. So I'm crazy. I hope you know how ridiculous. You so are. I'm crazy, okay? I'm crazy. I'm the crazy it one. Was there a second ago? Shut up! And Don't now even. It's gone. So all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fighting. What part of my brain is the voice of stubborn in, so I can cut it out? I'm sick of him. Oh my goodness! This is different last time. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. 
I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. You just sound like a gaslighter. So focus up. The world is depending on you. You know what? Nah, because I'm sick of him. I'm sick of him. The world's ending today. No knife this time. No knife. Right then, fisticuffs it is. Probably more fair to her anyway. Wouldn't want to feel like we cheated our way to a win. As long as you can still get the job done. And don't forget that the blade is waiting for you upstairs if you happen to change your mind. Yeah. Yeah, it's waiting for me, all right. Yeah. Yeah. It's waiting for when I find you. The door to the basement creaks, creaks open, open, revealing a rough stone staircase, its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. Another? This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess. What if I lay the princess? Have a good fight. What if I lay the princess? You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let her As go. You descend the final step oh, she is Satan! The princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. She's a demon. Huh. That's something. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Oh, it's you again. I'm hoping oh you find goodness. your way back here. Good to see that death doesn't stick for either of us. But no little knife this time, huh? No, I hope you're not just here to chat. I've been itching for a rematch. I hope you heard all that, Mr. Narrator. This is a lot different from the last time, but this definitely happened. Okay, fine. Let's say for a moment I believe you. For all we know, whatever happened to you last time was just a fluke, and beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember what happened last Well, maybe time. I should jog your memory and stab you in the throat! Uh, are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Let's be real, bro. Let's be real. You are a narrator, dog. You exist beyond all of this. All you do is talk. You don't have anything to do with this. Just shut up. Oh my goodness. Ah, you freaking cock licker. Aside from your empty hands, you look exactly the same. Thank you for that. Mm. Not saying I'm not here to fight. But I think the two of us have a lot of things to unpack first, you know, like how I'm still alive. What is there to unpack? I was dead and now I'm not and the same goes for you. There. Unpacking done. How does that work? Don't you get it? We've been given free reign to wail on each other. Forever. I couldn't have fun. said it better myself. Mm -hmm. Ah. Ah, uh, well, let's get to it. We'll have to see how this goes. Let's get to it. Let's go on a fight. Why not? I'm down. I'm game. Your hands empty. You charge the princess. Okay. Quit the pessimism, will you? Hold on. Right? It's almost like you don't want us to beat her. No, look, I'm rooting for you. I really am. I'm just doing my best to keep my expectations grounded. You don't have a weapon. You're supposed to have a weapon. Why does she unironically look prettier than she did before? We'll be fine. Just watch. We finna hit it with that one, two, three piece, five piece McDonald's chicken chicken nugget combo. You attack. Dang. Fists okay. raised and the two of you fall into combat. Your clawed fingers tear into her flesh and her fists and elbows return the blows in kind. Bruises blossoming in her wake and blood vessels rupturing in vivid sprays of gore. Woo! Not bad. You're tougher than I thought you'd be. Hear that? She respects us. We can pull this off. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Let's get her. But without that knife, you'll never be enough. Dang. Her knee connects with your sternum with a loud, violent crack. 
The wind leaves your lungs and as you struggle for breath, you can feel something flooding in to fill the space. Hot blood suffocating you from the inside. That sounds fun. You have to want to kill me like this. You don't so much as see her movement before she deals the killing blow. Everything goes dark and you die. Uh, are you serious? That's it? That's it. Like hell it is. We're not giving up that easy. Now get up. Didn't you hear me? You're dead. <laughs> There's no getting up from that. And, and no, I'm, I'm not just get up. Wait. No, that's not right. How much you're just get up? Not dead anymore. How much just get yes. up? Your eyes bolt open and you push yourself back to your feet. You're alive. He don't know who I am, bro. The princess takes a step back and looks down at her pulp-covered fists. I could have sworn I killed you. That's your face splattered on the walls and dripping from my hands. Who said I need a face to live? Come on. <laughs> Wait, no, my face is joking, right? Hold on, nah. Oh, hold on. No, you definitely killed me. I just got Maybe better. This will be a good fight <laughs> after all. Hey, bro, if you die skillless, just get better. Come on, stand up, just get up. The two of you clash once more. It's not as one-sided as I feared, but it's still a far cry from what I'd hoped. Her injuries, though numerous, pale in comparison to yours, and the wounds you've inflicted upon her barely seem to have slowed her down. As much as you're trying to ignore it, adrenaline pushing you far past your limits, every movement burns. This is getting boring. Are you even trying to keep up with me? Well, I'm kind of missing a face and my lungs are full of blood, so... I mean, there's not much I can do. She lands another devastating... Well, it doesn't matter, though. No. Lethal blow. Everything goes dark. Okay. And you die. Okay. You know what I'm going to say. Just get up. We're not dead. Yeah. We're not dead. Come on, get exactly, up. Exactly, just get up. Keep going. We're bound to wear her down eventually. Mm -hmm. Are you sure she can't do what we're doing right now? There's only one way to find out. Let's get up. Let's get up. Once more, you Let's push get up. yourself back to your mangled feet. Yes, I do. How, oh, I got her scared. How are you still doing anything? The bodies aren't supposed to look like that. <laughs> An uncharacteristic terror seems to grip her. Come voice. on! Come on, I'm still ready to go! Have you ever seen her afraid before? No. We haven't. This is how we win. We can do this forever. I'm going to put you out of your misery. I don't like looking at you like this. You're all twitching and wrong. I'd like to see her try. We're invincible. Yes, sir. Her fist flying oh, towards where dang, your face used on. to be, your twisted body incapable of moving out of the way. And then you see nothing. Everything goes dark and we die. <laughs> yes, something like that. <sighs> Well, don't you have something to say? Yeah, I quit. What? Oh, I was gonna get up! You're on a path in the woods. What the heck is the this? The path. All right, now why would we ever do that? Oh, I accidentally... Because she absolutely destroyed us? She sure did, but what a great way to go. Does it matter? We lost. Oh, why so glum rage? Boy, I thought you were brave. I thought you were proud. Was all that bravado just hot air? Who is this? Look, it was just... The fight was better the first time. And the first time, we had a weapon. Well, this is just great. <sighs> Let me cut to the chase. Clearly, you've already been here. <sighs> yeah, you think? What does here even mean, though? You've told us about the path of the princess and all of that already, but this is a very different path from the last one. Yeah, what is this? That's a good point. Everything here is a little... off. Yes, precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that. Shut up! Oh, you're actually letting me talk Man, Okay, shut up! You knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to... 
restart like this. I know all sorts of things, which is why you should listen. Maybe you shouldn't lie to me. That's not really an answer. <sighs> Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things seriously. But the thing is this, though. I killed her the first time, and sh and, and things ha and things did a do-over. Man, I tell me everything. Can't. Anything I say at this point is far more likely to accelerate the unraveling of this place than it is to actually help you do your job. In fact, I probably shouldn't have even said that. I trust that if you've been here before, it means you know how dangerous she is, and that you know I'm not lying to you about her. Dog, if I can run the ones with her and kill her, bro, if I can run the ones with her, she is not gonna destroy the world. I guarantee I'm not the strongest person in the world, bro. There's no way. Really? That's it. That's all we're getting out of you. If he thinks reality is about to end, how about we just let it happen? Wouldn't that be interesting? That would be interesting. interesting. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. Do you actually want to see the end of everything, or do you just not want to fight her? Eh, bit of both. I get it. You're conflicted. You've been through a lot, but I really have to be firm here. I will tell you one thing, which is that even now, you are capable of stopping her and saving the world from ruin. You always have been, and you always will be. Do with that what you will. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna give him what he wants. I'm gonna give him what he wants. Let's go and take. We're all on the same page. Shut up. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up at the cabin on the hill. You'll find the princess within, as I'm sure you already know. End her. That's it. No final words of advice. I'd rather not waste any more time. I'm sure that. Any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. Don't Thank so you, just yourself. hush. We all wind up in creative ruts now and then. I'm sure if you put your mind to it, you could think of something worth telling us. Try your hardest. The interior of the cabin is a place that feels long forgotten. There was once an elegance to its construction, carved marble columns holding a high arched roof, vaulted windows letting in the weak starlight. But that is how it was. Now there is a growth that has overtaken it. This is cute. A viscous fluid seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of living meat. That's horrible. <laughs> I think it's kind of nice. Kind of yucky. Makes the room feel alive, doesn't it? No, it's, it's kind of yucky. The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal. A pristine blade perched. Okay, on the we're edge. not doing this again. It's a mirror. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. We'll need it if we want to do things right. I say we leave it to rust. Let's not make the same mistake twice. We could have won if we had it last time. Take it. Yee a mirror? There is no mirror. There's the pedestal, the blade sitting on the pedestal, and the door. Yeah, the I'm basement. saying we've done this yeah, already. Done all There's this a freaking already. mirror! I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I wouldn't know if there was a mirror. Clearly you don't know because there's a freaking mirror. Or you're confused on the definitions of door and mirror. Or you're seeing... No, there's what a freaking you mirror. Exactly? You calling me stupid? It means you're hallucinating. You calling me stupid, pal? Calling me delusional? Are you calling me delusional? You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. You really don't, do you? How strange. It's Mirabelle! It really is, just like last time. Are we really hallucinating? Why here? Why now? Does it matter if it's actually real or not? Talking about it gets under his skin. That's all that matters. We should talk about it even more. Let's just smash it and get it over with. I'm ready to get violent. We won't be able to see what's in there if we smash it. Do whatever you want with it. The mirror isn't real, so how you handle it doesn't matter, aside from wasting dangerous amounts of time. Shut up. Uh, let's you smash it. your fist crashing down against the door leading to the basement. Oh. As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. 
Why am I not surprised? You step forward into the darkness. The stairs leading down to the basement are at once both narrow and grandiose. A high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, okay. while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped. <laughs> no, I at don't. Once exposed and claustrophobic. No, I don't. The air is thick, its odor an oppressive violence. The metallic scent of fresh blood twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice, a bellowing rage, roars up the stairs. So you've returned. Do you intend to weakly claw your fingers across my skin? Or have you finally decided to try and kill me properly? Does she want to die? I think you'll find it won't be so simple. I've changed. The way your flesh felt grinding beneath my fist, it woke something in me. That wasn't a fight. It was something worse. I'm something worse now. Why don't you come down and see what you've made of me? Bet. I hear that. Well, sounds like we got to her last time. Let's keep pushing, see what else we can make happen. I'm down. Let's go. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. The chamber's walls are painted in blood, a deep, sickening red that drips down in clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks of torment, of ripped skin and burning bone. The princess stands in its center, muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped in a tattered dress of her own skin. Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? No, I'm not too so sure. a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal meets flesh. And then, with a nauseating sound, the skin tears. She thinks she's Aaron Yeager. And she pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. She is loose, and she is coming for you. She wants us to be afraid, because she wants us to think she can make us suffer. Now give her the satisfaction. Hey, how you doing? That's right, no fear. She's bigger than the last time, but she's pulling herself apart. She's practically done most of the work for us. We don't even have a weapon. It doesn't matter. I refuse to go out any way that isn't kicking and screaming. Hey, uh, what should I do? What happened to you? Time happened. You happened. But none of that matters. We're together again, and I'll have what you denied me. What did I deny you? She bounds across the room, her fists ready, her heart set upon your destruction. Her heart is set up on the air. Look how open it is. She don't even got ribs no more. The horrifying squelch. You are unwound. Oh. I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. Huh. I feel cold. I've never felt cold before. Oh. Huh. I'm not too... I'm not too sure what that means. True to her word, you did not die by her hand. Something has taken her away and has left something else in her place. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I'm begging you, don't do this. Shut up. You do what I tell you to do. I approach the mirror. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. Yeah, don't look at it. I don't like that thing. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. The voice is still small, distant as I approach. Silence as I reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for me to see what's in it. It's me. 
I'm alone in a place that is empty. It's quiet here. I'm at the cabin. Everything good, G? Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Are you what sent me to? You would sent me to slay the princess. You know the world's beyond this place. Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. But were you always the princess, or are you just making yourself part of your, making her part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Yes, it matters because I'm asking you the question. How about you answer the question and stop? What's your whole philosophical crap? All right? Are you Gojo Sup? <laughs> okay. Uh. Uh. uh is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Hey, that's a good point. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? That doesn't make sense. Solitary lights. Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. What do you think I am? I think that you are like me. We are oceans reduced to shallow creeks. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. How many do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. What are you gonna do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. All right, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Everything goes dark and I die.